Oh, 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 Where? Hey, what's going on guys? Simzy here from Disrupt Gaming, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to predict what the attackers are doing based off what is happening throughout the round. And what I mean by this is based off of what sort of walls and hatches they plan on going for, you could sort of predict which site the attackers plan on executing and how they plan on executing it. So let's get started. So in this video, I pretty much want to tell you guys some of the most common attacks to look out for while on defense on a few different maps. But basically what's going to be happening is you guys are going to be able to predict what the attackers plan on doing based off what information you have, what sort of walls and hatches they start trying to go for. You can sort of predict what they plan on doing for the rest of the round. So on Clubhouse Basement, there are two common attacks that you got to look out for. One being the Moto Church take and the other one is the Kitchen Dirt and Blue take. These are just really the most common, the most basic that you will see. So starting out with the Kitchen Dirt and Blue take, your most common or biggest sign that you should be looking out for is if the attacking team opens up dirt. If they open up dirt, that's kind of a huge giveaway that they're probably going to do something to, through dirt. Whether they do open Kitchen and Blue is besides the point, but normally you would have a Thermite open up the Blue Hatch, then he'll run over and get the Dirt Wall, and then you have a Hamana that uses all the pellets if necessary to try to open up his Kitchen Hatch so that they have all their three points of entry. And for the most part, once you hear dirt open, that should be your dead giveaway of they're most likely going to do something in dirt. Even if they don't fully attack dirt, they're going to utilize dirt as one of their entry points just because opening dirt is usually a pretty big commitment. You don't have a lot of utility to open up dirt unless you have an extra thermite for some reason or you have an extra habana for some reason. But anyways, your second most common attack to look out for is the moto and church take. Usually you would have a therm uh, sorry, a habana open up this hatch. And then you have a thermite that drops the hatch or comes down main stairs and his whole plan is to open up this church wall while you have a habana that may come down and open up a prone angle on the left side of the church wall just to deny any impact trick you can't really you can't really get those x kairos off the wall if you do impact it'll get like the top three it won't get all six of them so no matter what you'll still have a line of sight and with this line of sight into church you actually have a lot of angles that are unplayable inside of church are, are just really unsafe and especially when you're trying to get this wall open it just helps anybody that tries to come close to impact trick for the person on bottom main it's easy to just get that pick with the hole there but basically their whole plan is to open up this wall and try and clear out church and get a plant so pretty much the sign you want to look out for is if they open up this moto hatch and potentially even opening up blue hatch they will most likely be doing a church and moto execute, especially if you don't hear anything happening through dirt side or if they don't plan on even opening up kitchen hatch either. So let's move on to the next site for BCC and server. The biggest thing I want you guys to take away from this video is just looking at common signs or, or uh, tendencies that you see in the attacking team just to know like, okay, if they open up this wall, they're going to do this execute. Or if they open up this hatch, they're going to do this execute. So you and your team can rotate accordingly. You can position yourself accordingly to prepare for that sort of attack. So that you're prepared for it and you're not going to be caught off guard when they open up a wall and they open up a different hatch and start taking an execute onto site that you're not comfortable with or you're just not prepared for. So anyways, let's move on to CCTV and server. So your two most common attacks on a CCTV take and server take is, uh, they do a garage take. So bo both takes require this wall being opened, but you have a garage take and then you have a split take, which basically they open up this wall and they run to the other side of the map and they push construction and they open up this wall as well. But your most common is probably the garage take and it's the most easiest take to kind of predict just because what happens is you have a Habana that immediately as this, the round starts, opens up the, top left side of this garage panel and then they open up a crouch hole with our other two pellets and as soon as you know those two things get open or even even just this one you can pretty much know that it's a garage take and they utilize this corner here just to cap a towel flame or 
pretty much just to get a line of sight onto this rafter window because it is a heavy rotate especially if you have a bandit that's trying to bandit trick this and he gets stunned or naded or anything like he does tend to hop in the rafter window and it's really good line of sight so realistically if you are bandit tricking i recommend sitting a little bit further back just so that you don't you know get impacted underneath or people do use a fia stun through the drone hole and you'll instantly get hit by that if you're on the wall or if nades are flying through the window it's just really hard to bandit trick this wall a lot of teams that are semi-coordinated are really it's really easy for them to actually deny the bandit trick so realistically i recommend just trying to play a super safe don't really die for the bandit trick but anyways so with their garage take they open up that wall once they open up that wall they set somebody out there one person and you have two people that come through bottom garage you have somebody that sits outside garage door people coming in garage is usually a flashbang character like a habana and then you have like a sledge or a buck for the nades or even a cap depending on what sort of ops are banned but you would have the habana flash over burn the ads you have the nade guy nade the rafters and while all these nades are popping off you have the person playing this garage door that's constantly peeking the rafters so as soon as the guy that's in rafters is getting naded and flashing all that stuff he'll tend to move so you can kind of catch him when he's trying to exit but the biggest thing you want to look out for with the sign of a garage take is opening up garage walls and if it's a team that's pushing a doing a split push then you have the biggest sign is realistically if they don't open up garage at all and they heavily try to get this wall you can kind of predict that they're going to do a split push so your split push is them opening up that wall and rotating to you know, logistics master bow they, they pretty much just try to get this side of the map so that they can come in and get this construction wall open. so those are kind of your two most common attacks to look out for so biggest signs you want to look out for like i said before is if they try and open up garage it's usually a garage take if they do not open up garage it's usually a split push so look out for those two accordingly so we'll move on to the next map which will probably be consulate all right, so moving on to console, the two primary sites that I'm going to focus on is going to be the top floor site and the lobby site. I'm not really going to talk about the garage take just because normally it's only, there's only one most common attack. It's just opening garage and pushing through garage to get a plant down. So there's nothing too crazy you can do there. And the back take is just not really done that often. So I just want to focus on the two primary object objectives that you have like two most common attacks to worry about. So starting on CEO. Your two most common attacks is a CEO yellow take, and then your second one is an admin take to projector. So starting on the CEO yellow take, the biggest giveaway is if the attacking team does not push admin whatsoever. They don't open the windows, they don't throw drones in, you hear nothing on this side of the map. That's kind of a dead giveaway that they're going to be doing a yellow and CEO take. And if you're on this side of the map, the biggest thing you want to listen for is opening up CEO windows or just hearing a lot of noise and repels on the yellow side like opening up this window repelling up the skylight repelling bathroom side just hearing a lot of noise on this side usually kind of indicates that there is going to be a yellow take so you need to rotate accordingly and then your admin take most common is just having the attacking team opening up these windows they open up these admin windows you see drones start flying you hear repels like it's just a huge giveaway that they're doing an admin clear so they push through admin they try to get into projector from projector bulk. They potentially open up this wall with a Habana, so on and so forth. So the biggest, uh, the two biggest signs you want to look out for on both takes is a lot of noise happening on yellow side, or just no presence on admin side. And your second biggest sign you want to look out for is just all the admin windows getting opened and no sort of sound or presence on the yellow side. So we'll move on to the lobby. All right, so moving on to the lobby objective, your two primary most common attacks are a lobby take, which usually entails the attacking team going from admin side over and clearing. And then your second most common is just a straight piano yellow take. So let's focus on the admin take since that is kind of the more intricate one. The biggest thing you wanna look out for is, I highly recommend first off playing up top whenever you're in a lobby, in the lobby objective, just play upstairs, reinforce it pretty much like you're playing CEO and projector, but you're pretty much just playing it to keep control of vertical. So what ends up happening is the attacking team pushes admin like normal. They basically attack the lobby objective just like they would attack the projector side of CEO. 
and all they do is they try to get control of projector. Once they get control of projector and this hatch that is usually open, then they end up going to try and execute onto the site. Uh, just go, either going through the lobby front door or they drop the circle desk hatch to try to get a plant down. But those are kind of your biggest giveaways, just listening for an admin side take, admin windows getting opened, repels on that side of the map. Those are kind of your dead giveaways that they're going to be doing in admin take over towards lobby. Then your second most common is the piano yellow take, which usually entails a lot of noise happening on the yellow side. You have people that bucking through garage, coming through yellow door, they repel on windows, they open up all the windows, and there's not really a lot of noise happening on the other side of the map. But their primary focus is opening up all these windows, joining up piano, getting control of garage and the bottom yellow stairs so that they can start putting pressure on bottom yellow to clear out piano completely. And then at that point, they have all the control that they want and they can just repel in the windows. So the biggest thing you want to look out for is just a lot of noise happening yellow side. I recommend sitting on cams to listen for any sort of garage wall, uh, holes that get opened on the default cam or just listening to anything happening on the yellow side. Alright guys, before I end the video, I just want to point out that this video is meant to teach anyone who doesn't know the common things to look out for when playing on defense. Every high level player does this and it's called using game sense, which means using your knowledge of the game and your experiences from all your past matches to predict and outplay your opponent. Just to understand a lot of the tendencies and common things to look out for just because a lot of these attacks work, so a lot of people do it. It's just kind of the most common thing to look out for, so I highly recommend learning them. So that you can use that uh, to your advantage while on defense so i hope this video was helpful if you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like on the video and if you guys have any other topics or tips you would like to see me go over in a future video please leave it down in the comments below but that is all from me thank you guys for watching peace